Understanding Good and Evil, Dear Alexander, 36. Carl Jung believed the pathway to completion as a human is through the embodiment of the monster, the discovery of the shadow. Jung didn't believe you could be a good person until you realize your capacity for malevolence and evil. Once this is understood, then it must be brought under control. There are typically two types of people. Person A, a good person who's naive to their capacity to perpetrate malevolence. Person B, a person who's realized they're not as morally virtuous as they thought by understanding they have the unlimited potential to express the ugliest part of the human experience. Person A thinks they're a good person because they can't not be. They're like a domesticated house cat. They don't even have the capacity to be bad because they don't comprehend they can be. There's no morality in that. Person B's morality and virtue is developed through the harrowing realization you can be every monster you despise if exposed to the right circumstances. The irony is what stops most from becoming the monster is realizing you could become the monster, but you learn to control it by befriending it. This is when you encounter the shadow. Quote, no tree, it is said, can grow to heaven unless its roots reach down to hell. End quote. Carl Jung. Through acknowledgement of all sides of who I could be, not just the kind, loving side, but the sinister and vicious side, allows my roots to grow as I realize who I am. I must confront the unlimited discomfort of my most inner darkest thoughts and feelings. Not run from them, but sit with them, befriend them, make peace with them. Understanding who I am is the vehicle to understand the most malevolent acts committed by humans, rapists, murderers, terrorists, genocidal leaders, Unit 731. If you want to be shocked into the realization of what we all have the capacity for, look up Unit 731. Once I started understanding myself in this way, I really started thinking about it. I realized... I could have been them. We forget that. We judge other people for evil acts, but we forget. We don't realize, rather, that that could have been us. What makes you think you are going to stand up against Nazi Germany as a German officer? Stand up against all of that? The likelihood is that you would have been just like them, given the right circumstances. And aspects of myself are contained within the people who commit the most heinous crimes that have ever existed. Once I realized the people who I say, I could never do that, can be the same people committing crimes against humanity. I realized we're all not so different from each other. We all have that capacity within each other. And so to confront the shadow of our character like this and realize what being human means can be a terrifying realization, which is why most don't do it, but I must.